I will just mention a few other prophecies. There are several. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has even been prophesized in a Tharwa Ved, book number 20, hymn number 21, verse number 6. It says that Akaru, he will defeat 10,000 enemies without a fight. It is talking about Battle of Azab, the Battle of Khandaq, chapter number 33 in the Quran. And Karu in Sanskrit means the one who prays, which is another translation of the second name of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ahmad, the one who praises. It says this person, one who praises, that is Ahmad, he will defeat 10,000 enemies without a fight. And we know in the Battle of Khandaq, the enemy is approximately 10,000 in number, and the battle was won without a fight taking place. He's also prophesied in a Tharavaved, book number 20, hymn number 21, verse number 7. It says that the Abandu, he will defeat 60,090 enemies and the 20 chiefs. Abandu, in Sanskrit again, means one who praises, that is the translation of the name Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It also says that he'll be an orphan. And we know today from history that there were approximately 20 chiefs of Makkah which were defeated by Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the population of Makkah against the Prophet was approximately 60,000. This prophecy is also repeated in Rig Ved, book number one, hymn number 53, verse number nine, but the Sanskrit word is Sushrama. Sushrama in the Sanskrit dictionary, again, it means one who praises, which is the translation of the name Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There are various prophecies, time will not permit us to go into the detail. He's also prophesied in the Psalm Ved, in Uttar Chik, mantra number 1500, it says that Ahmad has been given the eternal law. He is mentioned by name also as Ahmad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He has been given the eternal law, that is the Holy Quran, that is the Sharia. But if you read the translation of this verse, because Ahmad is an Arabic word, they could not translate it, so they thought it was Ahmati. And Ah and Mati in Sanskrit means my father. So it says, my father has given me eternal law. So the translation, if you read it, differs. But the original script mentions the word Ahmad. And the word Ahmad is even mentioned in other places in Hindu scriptures, including Psalm Ved, Indra, chapter number 2, Mantra 152. He is even mentioned as Ahmad in Yajur Ved, chapter number 31, verse number 18. In Rig Ved, book number 8, hymn number 6, verse number 10. He is also prophesied by name Ahmad in Atharva Ved, book number 8, hymn number 5, verse number 16, as well as Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 126, mantra number 14. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, besides being mentioned as Ahmad, one of his names, he is also mentioned as Narashan Shah in several places in the Hindu scriptures. And as I mentioned earlier, that Narashansa is derived from Nar, which means a man or person, and Shansa, which means Prashansa, praiseworthy. So Narashansa means a person who's praiseworthy. That is exact translation of the name of the last and final messenger Muhammad into English. He is mentioned by Narashansa several places in the Hindu scriptures in Rig Ved, book number one, hymn number 13, verse number three. Rig Ved, book number one, hymn number 18, verse number nine. Rig Ved, book number one, hymn number 106, verse number four. Rig Ved, book number one, hymn number 142, verse number three. Rig Ved, book number two, hymn number three, verse number two. Rig Ved, book number five, hymn number five, verse number two. Rig Ved, book number seven, hymn number two, verse number two. Rig Ved, book number 10, hymn number 64, verse number three. Rig Ved, book number 10, hymn number 182, verse number 2. Yajur Vey, chapter number 21, verse number 31. Yajur Vey, chapter number 21, verse number 55. Yajur Vey, chapter number 20, verse number 37. Yajur Vey, chapter number 20, verse number 57. Yajur Vey, chapter number 28, verse number 2. Yajur Vey, chapter number 28, verse number 19. Yajur Vey, chapter number 28, verse number 42. You can keep on quoting only the references where Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has been mentioned by name as Narashansa in several places in the Hindu scriptures. You can give a talk for days together only on prophecies of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Hindu scriptures.